Hi, I'm Catherine Mukes, licensed professional counselor. And I'm Baruch Williams, or Dr. B, pediatric neuropsychologist. And welcome to Let's Talk. So today we wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about managing life transitions. You know, we have all types of things that are going on. I think the saying says there's nothing, nothing's constant but change. Mm -hmm. And so there's always these transitions that are coming up. And one of the things that um, we think about when we think about transitions can be anything. So uh, we talked a little bit earlier about transitioning from um, jobs, mm -hmm. from one job maybe or career into another. Mm -hmm. Other examples are transitioning from maybe living at home with your parents to now living out on your own. What other transitions come up for you? Um, transitioning from childhood to adulthood. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, that, that's kind of a big one there for mm -hmm. some people um, and uh, for many people. And um, you know, making the transition from singlehood mm -hmm. to um, married life. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a big one. All right. And um, for those you know who choose to making that trans further transition into um, um, having children, mm -hmm. parenthood, uh, yeah, parenthood. Mm -hmm. And then on the flip side of that, some people transitioning out of things. So transitioning from having children living in your roof to having an empty nest. Yeah. Or um, transitioning from working life to maybe retirement life. Absolutely. And so we know that transitions happen for all sorts of reasons through all walks of life. Um, and some of them we can plan for. Mm -hmm. And some of them, unfortunately, we don't always get to plan for. Exactly. Exactly. But, you know, we want to just talk about a few tips to, um, to assist with making those transitions go as smoothly um, as possible. Um, one of the tips that you know I think about is really taking the time to care for yourself during yes. transitions. Yes. We know that transitions um, can be stressful because they're just plain old stressful. Because <laughs> uh, like change, right? <laughs> right, right. Or it could be a change that you're looking forward to and still involve some amount of stress. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's important to, uh, when you know that there is a transition coming or if a transition happens unexpe unexpectedly, take a few moments to breathe, maybe you need to take a day or two to breathe, to accept that this change is coming mm -hmm. into place, mm -hmm. um, and to, um, to lean on, you know, your support groups, support networks, whether that's friends or families. Um, during that time and communicating to mm -hmm. someone how you feel about mm -hmm. this, you know, upcoming transition. Yeah. And with the self-care piece, I would also say keep other things as normal as possible. Yeah. So, for example, if you have, let's say, it's um, a, a job transition that maybe it wasn't a choice. So maybe there's layoffs going on. I mean, we just recently had... Um, a government uh, shutdown yeah. for a while and so they, these are transitions and things that um, maybe we're not prepared for but being able to keep some sense of normalcy in other areas of your life so if you um, worked out every day in the morning continue that yeah if you if you um, ate certain times a day as much as you can continue doing that so doing those things getting to bed at the same time don't allow those transitions and the stresses that come with those to disrupt your life on so many other levels, um, especially when they're harder transitions to, I, to deal with. Yeah, I absolutely, um, absolutely agree with that. That's a very good point. Um, another point uh, that we've talked about is when you can and when you are aware that there's a transition um, that's coming up to plan for it. Don't absolutely. let it just kind of come along and <laughs> bump you. I mean, you know, you see it coming to you. <laughs> you might as well do something right. about it. Right. Yeah, so about be 17, he's about to graduate. I'm going to need you to, the, like, not be surprised yeah. that he's ready to move out the house. And so being being mindful of those things and planning where you can. Sure. Doing if you know that the transition requires, um, you know, one transition we didn't mention is maybe a move. Mm -hmm. So maybe your job is relocating or something like that or for whatever reason you have to move and being able to be mindful and planful around 
what is it going to take to make those things happen right as much as we can as much as you can it will help to um, alleviate alleviate stress um, mm -hmm. you know to some extent so yeah. absolutely. Transitions. absolutely I think one of the other things that um, is important and I think you touched on it a little bit earlier is just being able to communicate oftentimes transition that happen in our lives don't just involve us mm -hmm. and so it may involve you know a spouse a significant other a boss a child or whomever else is involved and so just being able to communicate um, with them maybe some concerns that may come out of that maybe your hopes how you're hoping that that transition may be better for um, everyone mm -hmm. and just having an open line of communication around uh, the transition and how it's impacting everyone that's kind of involved in that process exactly because multiple people can be you know impacted um, by the transitions um, whether it's family mm -hmm. you know or others um, in your circle or mm -hmm. network um, another thing that we talked about is um, just Remembering that, um, much like you said, keeping things consistent in other areas, mm -hmm. that everything doesn't have to change. And it's the same thing with your core values. Mm -hmm. um, though a, one part of your life might be changing, um, the core of who you are, the person um, who you are, remains the, the same. Um, and those values remain the same. Absolutely. And, and remembering those kind of helps to, to keep propelling us forward. So when we re remember the things that are important to us, um, it keeps us from getting so bogged down in the transition, particularly when it's a, a, a tough transition. Mm -hmm. As you said, some, some transitions we're looking forward to, but some of them um, may take on aspects that maybe we didn't anticipate. Mm -hmm. And so being able to to remember our values and and keep those things that are important to us in mind as we move forward through those transitions. Mm -hmm. And finally, we want to touch on just remembering times where you've had transitions, um, you know, in the past um, and, and remembering how you've managed to get through and those transitions and you're still here, you're still alive, you're Absolutely. still kicking. Yeah. Um, it's just important to, to remember that. And though this transition may be different, um, just remembering that you had the strength and the support to get through to to get through changes absolutely because the fact is we all go through transitions absolutely at one point or another we've gone from one place to another place mm -hmm. we've gone from from elementary school to middle school god help us to, <laughs> to, to, to high school yeah. maybe off to something else we've gone from you know a starter job to a career path we've gone from living with our parents to living alone to living with someone else mm -hmm. to roommates or whatever the case may be we've lived in one state and moved to another state or one city and moved to another city and so and we've survived those things and it's great strength in remembering that you've done it before mm -hmm. and certainly if you've done it before you can handle doing it again absolutely well, so just to recap, um, today we've talked about managing life transitions and that we all go through them and that some ways to help them to go um, smoothly is remembering to take care of yourself, mm -hmm. rely on your support networks, um, remembering to mm -hmm. plan things out if it's, you know, an anticipated transition, try to plan things out as much as possible. Communicate with others who may be affected by the transition mm -hmm. um, and to remember that you still have your core values no matter what change may be taking place around you and finally to remember the times where you have transitioned successfully in the past absolutely so we'd love to hear from you tell us about um, a, a major transition that maybe you've gone through lately and and how you were able to, to deal with that successfully. So just drop us a line in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And also don't forget to like our page and to share it with someone who you think can benefit from this video. And we look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care. Bye.